I'm Nick Snow, watching government for Oil and Gas Journal in Washington, D.C. Oklahoma Corporation Commission Chairman Robert Anthony noticed one difference from six years earlier at the Natural Gas Committee's session on hydraulic fracturing during the National Association of Regulatory Utility Commissioners 2016 winter meeting. Close to 400 people attended the 2010 discussion, which required a much larger room, he told the approximately 10 state utility commissioners and 40 audience members on February 16th in Washington. Anthony said the proceedings were much livelier in 2010, adding, We've all learned a lot since then. Earlier that day, however, Two environmental groups, the Sierra Club and Public Justice, filed what they called in a headline a, quote, fracking lawsuit, end quote, against three independent producers in U.S. District Court for Western Oklahoma in response to increased Sooner State seismic activity. Anthony reported that he tried to explain to an OCC press official once that fracking, if you spell it with a K, you're against it, if you don't, you don't mind it as much, he observed, actually is related to only about 2% of reported seismic activity. He said the press official added hydraulic fracturing to his news releases headline anyway because he thought it would attract much more attention. Another speaker agreed that quakes associated with well completions are extremely rare. There have been fewer than 10 in the U.S., said Richard J. Simmers, who leads the Oil and Gas Division in Ohio's Department of Natural Resources. Oklahoma may have its faults, but they're all geologic, Anthony quipped as the session concluded, then grew more serious. My state issued its strongest directive yet today to cut back on oil and gas disposal well volumes near those faults. In an order covering 5,281 square miles and 245 disposal wells going into the Arbuckle Formation, the OCC's Oil and Gas Division will require operators to reduce wastewater disposal volumes by more than 500,000 barrels a day, or approximately 40 percent. Earthquake activity in the region demanded a regional response Division Director Tim Baker said. That is why, even as we took actions in various parts of the region in response to specific earthquake events, we were already working on a larger plan, he explained. Baker said that while the order is not a response to seismic activity, it also includes areas which have not experienced a major earthquake yet. It's not only a response to past activity, but also an effort to, quote, hopefully prevent new areas from becoming involved, end quote, he said. This has attracted international attention, Anthony said during the Nerug Gas Committee's session. If you're going to produce oil, you'll also produce many more barrels of wastewater, but only a fraction of this comes from fracking. That's Watching Government for this week in Washington, I'm Nick Snow for Oil and Gas Journal.